Hello sir. Uh, today I come back with another tutorial which is uh, manual uh, calibration. The second tutorial of uh, SWAT analytical uh, model. For uh, this uh, tutorial, uh, SWAT editor is uh, required. So download SWAT editor. I will uh, put the link at the bottom of uh, my uh, video. So please download and uh, use uh, SWAT uh, editor through the other size. Okay. Since uh, the tutorial is an extension of a previous exercise, so we need to open the previous project, exercise 1. So to just 3.16 on our is opening. Yeah, this one is a previous project. Click here on as well, so you can get uh, the previous project in previous uh, tutorial. We have uh, data needs a uh, watershed, create a cherry edit inputs and run as well, and visualize uh, the surface uh, runoff and the groundwater uh, flow. And uh, for uh, today, today uh, we will uh, use. Uh, SWAT editor, so to use a SWAT editor, go to this yeah, local disk, you see SWAT, then SWAT editor, and open SWAT editor here, SWAT editor, and you can close this folder. So uh, at the beginning of reopening, of your uh, projects, you have to check with your SWAT parameter your database and the SWAT SWAT database are the same. If not, please copy this SWAT parameter your database to SWAT SWAT database and then click connect database and OK. And you have to also rerun your uh, software when you open, reopen the project and SWAT. I'm going to use uh, previous uh, procedures. SWAT. Okay. Then run the SWAT. Yeah, this one is uh, executing. For entire year, I will use data. Then okay. Then click this one. And uh, click this. Read the SWAT outputs. And uh, click here. Output. We are going to calibrate. Uh, surface runoff only, that's why I only click this one, then click this one, then OK. Then close. And uh, let us uh, save the default simulated outputs of uh, surface uh, runoff at uh, outlets, which is uh, basin 1 outlet, basin 1, and this flow uh, output. And yeah, plot and save it before calibration and save. And this one is uh, SWAT set outputs surface uh, runoff uh, before uh, calibration. So we'll see what will be happening while uh, manual uh, calibration. Close this one and uh, close this one also. And I come to SWAT editor and SWAT click here. And, uh, use manual calibration. And here in a manual calibration, with manual calibration window pop up, you can see parameter selection. We can select our parameter. There are different parameters here. A common parameter you may manually uh, change. And uh, you can see also mathematical operation, the different mathematical operation, multiplication, add and replace. And this mathematical operation is uh, not the same for all parameters. For some parameters, the software use uh, add. For some parameters, it use uh, multiplication. And uh, I will use only a CN to surface runoff uh, parameters uh, for uh, this uh, tutorial, and uh, we will uh, multiply 
the default value used by certain uh, value and uh, here we have to now the range of uh, those uh, parameter and you can see this uh, text file when look at a uh, groundwater delay for example groundwater uh, delay for example groundwater delay could be in this uh, range for uh, uh, spot so we can use the bug in this uh, range and uh, and there also another parameter like uh, uh, CSCS -S 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 uh, runoff uh, number which could range with a certain uh, uh, okay actually uh, upload this uh, text file so you can download uh, SWAT's uh, value for this exercise I will put this link at the bottom of uh, the tutorials video okay and if we look at uh, CN net two, the extension of CN two is dot MV at the let us check the default value of that uh, used by the software. So okay, default then this one. Okay, let us open this one. And if you look at uh, CM2 initial SCS value, it is 83. So we can change this value within a certain uh, change. And uh, it is recommended uh, to change this value in this uh, range. And uh, let us change this value. Change that value. Come here. And this one. And uh, let us multiply is 83 by 1.1 is 110 percent of the original one yeah click this one click this one like this then update update is okay and you can close and uh, this value will be changed to the new value Yeah, and so this value is changed to 91.3. So, will you, uh, the software use this value, this CN2 value, for uh, the next uh, simulation? So, uh, we can simulate using this value. We can also change another parameter. We can also change the more parameters for alpha value and another uh, parameter. Uh, Till uh, we get a good feed of what observed and simulated surface uh, runoff. Close this one. We have to using the input value, we have to run squat and uh, follow the same procedure as before. And finish run squat, executing. Okay, close. Then click this one. Read SWAT outputs. Still using this output, which output only. Close this one. Now we can visualize. Reach. Let us plot. Next I look also starting and finish dates, which is the same with the uh, output default value and uh, for this basin, which is the minimize this one, this one, output basin, this one, this one, turn off, then add plots, then plots, then save it, add dash collaboration then see yeah now come back here and this what this one is observed data so observed data is opened observed data 
and uh, we have runoff people uh, calibration and the runoff of the calibration. Let us uh, copy one of P for calibration. Let's not copy this one and uh, paste here. This one is one of P V4 calibration, and uh, this one is copy one of after calibration. Save this one and minimize it. Minimize this one. Minimize. Can minimize this one and use new file plot to see the relation between observed, calibrated, and uncalibrated stream uh, flow. And uh, when we look at uh, observed versus before calibrated surface runoff person correlation quotient is 0 0.79 which is 79 and observed versus after calibration person correlation quotient is 81 and you can do the same things until uh, you get uh, the best uh, person correlation coefficient uh, for uh, observed versus after uh, calibration for and their uh, basin and you can do the same thing again you can close this one and uh, close this one and uh, you can uh, change another parameter you can come back here and change another parameter uh, until you get a good uh, person correlation uh, coefficients thank you for your uh, attention please never forget to subscribe if you like the tutorials.